My memory's coming back. It's just bits and pieces so far, but I can feel them coming together, forming a whole. What have you remembered? The voyage. An endless trek south. I was following Yennefer and the wild hunt. I have no idea how long. It got cold. Only old people were left in the villages I passed through. But they all refused to tell me what had happened to the young. To their children. I finally pressed a man for information. He blamed it on wolf packs, on an outburst of drowners and rot fiends. No one mentioned the wild hunt. Did you catch up to the hunt? I don't know. What are you gonna do? Go on searching. I remember you mentioned some elven poems about the hunt. I believe I said they could exist, and they'd be old. I don't know any, but look around. You're pretty good at finding things. I found the notes of Morton Collis. He was a scholar, focused on studying the wild hunt. You don't say. Interesting. What's he got in there? The wild hunt moves along orthogonal trajectories that accord with... You asleep, Dandelion? Sorry, but when I hear words like trajectories, yada yada something, my eyelids just turn to lead. We can talk about poetry. Scholarship? I don't know. Talk to someone who cares. In that case... I found a poem titled The Song of the Hunt. You're kidding! Mm -hmm. Written by an elven sage. What did he, uh, scribble down? A lot more than I understood. Decipher this for me. Looking glass images, without heart or mind, haunt the worlds in the name of those who have preserved blood from blood, and who feed on unrestrained lust. The heartless bit is probably about cruelty. But looking glass images? The hunt's cruel writers must resemble someone. But in a looking glass, they could only resemble themselves. Not necessarily. The metaphor might be deeper. In any case, somebody commands them. They feed on unrestrained lust. Sounds like some tyrant. There's gotta be some truth behind these convoluted sentences. And I wonder why elves are more interested in the wild hunt than humans.